We've got three penny stocks right now with huge upside potential. The one that you're looking at right now has upwards of 700% upside potential. These penny stocks are very risky as almost all penny stocks are. So please be aware of that and don't put any more money than you're willing to lose into these stocks if you choose to invest. I'm not a financial advisor, yada yada. But enough of that talk, let's get straight into the video. So the first stock we're gonna be talking about is ticker ACRX. Axel RX Pharmaceuticals Incorporation. They have a market cap of roughly $66 million. Their one year target estimate right here is $4.17, but we're looking at a deeper analysis onto the real price targets. Their beta is 0.71. However, please be aware that this stock is like catching a falling knife. Going all the way up to $2.51 in the meme stock and penny stock prime back in February last year and being downtrending to 51 cents right now. However, these price targets are still semi good. Looking at the historical performance of the stock, as it hasn't hit in the price target levels in a very long time. Now, we are trying to catch a falling knife right now, like I said, but the company has some pretty solid stuff in plan. Let's go ahead and talk about who this company is. Their specialty pharmaceutical company focused pretty much on acute pain. So focusing on pain management, this is their pipeline right now. They have a lot of products approved, a lot being in phase three and phase two, which is very far in the pipeline overall development process. But this company is pretty upside potential. Now, their revenue statement, their income statement, it's all right. 2020 was really was really heavy, was really good. And then trailing 12 months is kind of falling, but still better than 2019 and 2018 levels. If we go ahead and look at the balance sheet real quick on this company, it's not the best. You know, you have a lot of liabilities compared to their total assets, like their equity is actually negative because of that. So it's not necessarily the best thing you want to see. The company's cash flow as well. It's got, sorry, I clicked on balance sheet again. Sorry about that. I need to click on cash flow. Cash flow right here. It's negative, not looking the best, but it is slowly getting its way to potential positive free cash flow, which is really important stuff to see. Looking on analyst expectations, expecting revenue to fourfold nearly, which is incredible. Earnings are gonna go closer to profitability just slightly. Now the price targets you've been waiting for, 771% upside potential. $4.50 price target. That's massive. Okay. Now, please understand that this is a very risky play, especially in the market and economy that we're in right now with growth stocks, which kind of plays its domino effect onto penny stocks being a little bit kind of hammered, especially with higher interest rates and different things like that. And a company with as much liabilities as this one taking on as much debt as ACRX, just know that it is going to be a little bit of a risk as with all that debt comes all that interest payments. Now looking at this company, they have a lot of product candidates that they're trying to get listed in the US right now that are already approved in Europe. And they recently approved breakthrough design, device design, de <laughs> designation, sorry about the stutter right there, from the FDA, but it is not commercially approved in the United States. So just waiting for that potential. And once that gets listed, that could be pretty solid stuff. Morningstar is giving a fair value of $2 per share, saying ACRX is at a 74% discount. Institutional activity on the stock is pretty solid. I mean, pretty much a one-to-one -one ratio. Exact same buying to selling, except 10 million, 0.10, so $100,000 more in selling pressure over the past year. Now let's go ahead and talk about stock number two on this list, which is Arcadia Biosciences, ticker RKDA. A market cap of $22 million, in a five in a one year target estimate of five dollars and twenty five cents. Now a little spoiler is all these stocks are kind of like catching a falling knife. This stock has fallen from three dollars and seventy nine cents earlier this year, but has a beta of negative point six two and a PE of five point three two, which is insane. That's a really good PE ratio even in the value industry. Looking on some different things, their profit margin is actually po positive, like thirty percent profit margin. That's really good. But the S&P 500 is really outpacing the this, this stock right here. Now, one thing to keep in mind that kind of just caught my mind on attention is the S&P 500, this return, the 52-week change, was like 30-some percent, 20-some percent about a month ago. And now it's 17%. That just kind of shows you, hey, markets are falling, so take advantage of it and buy the dips. Now, this company engages in developing various crop productivity traits primarily in hemp, wheat, and soybean. So their aim is to make 
healthier food for everybody. Healthy people, healthy planet. So they want to make healthy food. And especially with the, I just feel like a lot of people are wanting to eat healthier and kind of change their bodies, kind of make their self just a healthier individual. And this could be a lot of ups of potential and they're in a really high potential market. Now looking on the financial of this company, pretty solid, you know, increasing year over year since 2019, especially the past year, really good. Just hit profitability levels, $3.5 million. And the cash flow statements, go ahead and look at that. Free cash flow is still negative, but getting closer and closer from 2020 levels to profitable levels. Now, if we go ahead and look at the analyst expectations on earnings, earnings, it's not looking too solid right now. You know, they're expected to lose more than they lost this year. However, the revenue expected to almost threefold, which is a really, really good thing to see. The price target on this company is rated a moderate buy. You got two buy ratings. 419% upside, which is insane. The highest price target is $6, lowest is $4.50 from its $1 price right now. Now, if we go ahead and talk about this company, Arcadia was granted a notice of allowance for a new U.S. patent titled Wheat Having Resistance, yada, yada. This further expands their portfolio, and the patent will also come not long after the company secured U.S. patent number 11,200,000. Soybeans with reduced anti-nutritional factor content. So they're getting all of these intellectual property portfolio additions, which is really good stuff to see, especially for a company still that small. Now, analysts expect $2.63 fair value on Morningstar, giving it a 63% discount. Institutional activity, pretty solid. A lot of institutions buying $3 million worth compared to $33,000 selling. So that's really, really solid. Let's go ahead and talk about stock number three on this list, which is going to be TOMZ, Tommy Environmental Solutions. Market cap of $22.8 million. One-year target estimate of $3.50. Beta, negative five. So this stock, just like I said, is kind of like catching a falling knife from $5 all the way down to $1.15. Let's go ahead and talk about this company. They are a bacteria decontamination and infectious disease control company. They provide environmental solutions for indoor surface decontamination in the United States and internationally. So I think this has upside potential, especially with Omicron striking new fears into the economy. And this could perform really well. If you go ahead and look at their financials for the past year, 2020 was a bang for this company. $25 million in revenue on a $22 million company. I mean, that's, that's pretty solid because of COVID, you know, and with Omicron being as infectious as it is, and kind of just showing that, hey, it spreads really fast. Well, this leaves upside potential for the company to get revenue and start making some big bucks in the market. So keep that in mind. Could bring a lot of upside potential to the company just as a whole. And talking about some more things, I saw something, I don't know which airline it was, but airplanes are literally coming out with these mist machines that are supposed to disinfect COVID. So that shows there's a market for this. And you'll see right here, this is some of their products in their website. They have a ton of different products, which I really like to see. I always like to see a diversification of products in companies I invest in. Revenue and earnings expected to do really well over the next year. Just get better and better. Can't expect a company to be profitable in just one year from a one-year jump is what I mean. Now looking at this, sales growth is expected to grow by 50%. Analyst price targets is 204% upside, $3.50 price target from $1.15 price. Morningstar right here, giving it a 71% discount, fair value of roughly $4 a share. That's incredible stuff. Now, looking on to the institutional activity, same thing goes, a lot more buying pressure than selling pressure. So really, really good stuff to see on the company as a whole. But everybody, that's going to do it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications for all future videos, and check out my dis- my investing course if you want to go check it out. It's on sale right now. Getting new students by the day. Make sure you go check it out. It gets you access to a free private community once you enroll in the course. It's 100% so valuable. 7.5 hours of on-demand video. Check out the link in the comment below. If the coupon is still going if it's not filled in by the time you reach it you could get access to this course for free so check it out always see your guys input and stuff thank you again and i will see you at the next video